Let's analyze what the S&P 500 decided to do today, Thursday, March 3, 2022. This is the daily chart of the S&P 500. Today was a negative day, down 23 points. First, I'm going to point out the negatives for the day. It tried to push above the 20-day moving average. That's the pink line you see on your screen. And it couldn't. Sold off, closing way below that, and close right on the five-day moving average, the blue line. Uh, for tomorrow, nothing really has changed since the setup yesterday. I've mentioned if it dips below yesterday's low, that that would be a short, as it would be below all the moving averages. So I'm talking about 43, any, any dip below 43.20, that would be a sell, sell short. Um, going long, I would consider if it pushes above the 20 day moving average, but there's very strong resistance right above that. You got those pivot points between 44.30 and 44.65. That's where the 200-day moving average is. So that will that'll be very unlikely that I would enter just because there's so much resistance, very close, be very strong resistance, very close to my entry point. I'm leaning more towards uh, the short side. So I will be watching that level very closely tomorrow, 20, 40, 43, 20, dip below that, and I will consider shorting. I understand I'm aware of the uh, other potential strong risk support around 4290 where you have the green zone however if we dip below like i said yesterday's low below the 10 day moving average that red line i think is going to have enough momentum to dip below that 4300 level but i will adjust if that's the case if we end up getting a bounce around 4300 and i'll cover my position otherwise i might even consider adding to my position but we'll play a session by session we'll see what happens tomorrow thanks for stopping by and remember to always have a plan